I would like you to put your hands together for Mr. Ted Koo. I have to tell you, my heart is full being here with all of you. You know, this has been a really tough two years. But I think the hardest part is not the COVID. The hard part is not that we've lost family and friends, but that we've discovered how corrupt this country has gotten. And that corruption didn't start two years ago. We've come to understand that the very foundations of this country have been eroded for decades. They've undermined our political parties. They've undermined our court system. They've undermined our school system. They've undermined our college of physicians and surgeons. They've undermined our health care system. I would suggest Canada is experiencing an existential crisis. And if we don't stand up and reclaim this country, we're in big trouble. Our children and our grandchildren are in big trouble. The other hard part is recognizing that this country has come apart on our watch. And so I have to look at myself and say, how have I been responsible for this country getting to this place? And what I realize is that I have not taken full responsibility for creating democracy in this country. I thought we had good government and I thought all I had to do was vote every four years. I thought we had an independent media. I thought we had a good education system. I thought we had a good health system and we don't. I never even read the Charter of Rights and Freedoms until this past year when I started having conversations with the Honorable Brian Peckford. What I've come to realize is that democracy is all of our responsibility. And the reason why I know that we can win this is because you're here. And you're here, one is because you have the moral integrity to see that what's happening is wrong. But you're also here because you have courage. There are many who see that what's happening is wrong, but they don't have the courage to stand up. And many of the speakers that are here at the Reclaiming Conference, I would suggest, are the heroes in Canada who, in spite of all of the adversity and all of the threats and all the shaming and being delisted de de from their professional organizations, are still speaking out and telling the truth. I learned something really important from Brian Peckford this year. I had a beautiful conversation with him a couple of months ago, and he said something that really resonated deeply with me. He said, Ted, democracy only exists in a moral society. There you go. And so what I realized is we need to spend more time honoring the core foundational principles of a moral society. You know, I look at the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and people have all kinds of judgment about it and I suggest you're looking at it with the wrong lens. If you look at it as a legal document, you can argue with whether the wording is right, whether it's got everything in it. But I suggest to you it's actually a moral document. It's a moral code of ethics. And one of the things that I honored about the truckers most is that they honored a moral code of ethics even under the duress of the federal government who did everything they could to try to get them to react and be aggressive. You know, Trudeau had a call for that state of emergency because the truckers standing in peaceful, loving resistance to the government was more than he could manage. He can't defeat that. And so he had to bring in the emergency act. He had to bring in the goons to take down the truckers. I said uh, about a month ago is that I think I 
I'm not going to vote for any political party going forward unless they're the trucker party. But I have to tell you, after listening to Roman Babber this morning and hearing his words again now, it gives me hope that we can reclaim this country through the political lens, through the, the political platform. But it means that we have to step up. I understand that Canada has the lowest citizen involvement in their democracy except for one country, China. That says that we're not doing our job, we're not being responsible, so this is an important time for us. You know, I listened to O Canada this morning, and I've probably sung it thousands of times since I was a child, and I only now recognize what it means to stand on guard for thee. Thank you all.